In this video, I'll show you a new custom card that I have created for your Home Assistant dashboards. It's a card that makes the built-in to-do integration a little more useful, at least for me. It allows you to add subtasks, icons to each task and priority. It's also designed by me, so if you're into that, you should keep watching. Start by copying the URL of the GitHub repository. Then head over to Hacks and click the three dots in the upper right-hand corner. Click on Custom Repositories. Paste the URL into the repository field and select the Dashboard option. Click Add. It should be added to the list. Close the window and search for To-Do List Card. It should show up under New. Click on it and click the Download button in the lower right-hand corner. Using the card is pretty straightforward, but before I add it to my dashboard, I want to create a new to-do list. You could use existing lists as well, but my card uses some special formatting for the description field so everything might not work perfectly with existing lists. Back in the dashboard, I can now add a new card and search for to-do list card. You can see that the card gives us a few options to tweak. First of all, we need to select the correct to-do entity. Next, you can set a headline or you can remove it completely. There's also some sorting options that will make a bit more sense once we've actually added some tasks. I'm just going to save the card so I can add some tasks. On the card, we can click the little plus icon to open a form. Here we can add tasks. Set a title and a description. You can also set a priority and a due date. A priority of 1 is urgent and 10 is the lowest. Lastly, you can set a custom icon for the task. Back in the editor, it's now a little easier to show what the different variables do. You can set the background color for the whole card. Next, you can set the background color of the individual tasks. Then you can set the color for completed tasks, the icon background, the text color, and the completed text color. As you can see, when you tick the box for the task, it switches to the green color marking it as completed. If you click on the task, it will let you add subtasks. The main task will then show a progress bar to indicate how many subtasks are completed. If I now add a few subtasks, then go back into the editor to enable the Auto Complete Parent Task option. The main task should be marked as completed if we complete all the subtasks. The sorting options are pretty basic. You can either sort by priority, due date, or title, in both ascending or descending order. Also, if you click on a task, you get access to the Edit Details button. This just allows you to edit the task. There's no edit button for the subtasks yet. Maybe that's a feature for the future. I just quickly want to show the other mode called Shopping as well. It's very similar to the main mode, it just opens a few other options more related to a shopping list. I've created a new to-do entity, and I select the shopping mode in the editor. If I go to add a new item, the form has fewer options than in the other mode. But there are new options for quantity and a link. If the link is populated, it adds a small icon that allows you to open the link in a new tab or window. You can of course toggle the item as completed the same way as in the other mode as well. Lastly, I just want to show how this works in the backend. Since I wanted to build this card around the built-in to-do integration, I had to be a bit clever with the description field. I am basically using JSON format to create the data the card can pull, so it will look like a mess in the built-in to-do list page. Using this format will allow me to build on the current features if new ideas pop up. Please let me know what you think about this card. I use a couple of these in my main dashboard, and it currently has a pretty good wife approval rate. Also, let me know in the comments or on GitHub if you have ideas for the future. I would, for example, love to integrate recurring tasks and manual sorting. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time.